not to be funny, but it seemed like always little black nappy headed. I'm sorry, y'all, but it seemed like always little nappy headed girls would bully me. Like they'd be jealous or something. Like, I, <laughs> what? Yes, they was. Girl. <laughs> This is why they digging. I didn't even know, but this is why they digging in Queen's ass. Of course they would, because why would? Because look at the look at what she said. Like, of course they would. I mean, I don't blame them. Ari Lennox is a beautiful brown skin girl. I don't know much about her music, but all I know is that I seen her skin tone, and I was like, girl, she don't like you. You nappy headed and black to her. So, um. This collaboration, I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even listening to the song just because Queen is on it. I ain't listening to it. If Ari was on it by herself or with somebody else, cool. But she didn't take that Summer Walker route because Summer Walker checked Queen. Because Queen tried to speak to Summer Walker or something like that. And Summer Walker shut that down and played the clip for her. Like, bitch, no. You don't like me. I don't like you. You don't like nappy headed black girls. I'm nappy headed without a, I'm not, I don't have a relaxed, a relaxer, you know, my hair is what it is. And you, you don't like that. So what, what are you reaching out to me for? So Summer Walker really checked her and I wish Ari would have took this route as well. But I mean, I guess she didn't see the clip. I don't know. But like it's it's terrible it's ridiculous like nappy headed black girls always the nappy headed black girls it's like you could have at least said you know girls used to bully me and it was like the black girls that used to bully me and I felt like you know I was mixed so I didn't fit in something like that you know what I'm saying but for her to open up her mouth and say nappy headed black girls it's like Girl, you funny looking already. So for you to even call somebody nappy headed and black, it's like you're not the prettiest girl. Like you look real funny looking like you really, really look like like odd. OK, if you really take a good look at her, she looks very odd. And so these nappy headed black girls like Summer Walker, Kiki Palmer, um, uh, Neek from Neek and King, Sierra from Sierra and Jordan, Diera, all those girls got you beat in looks. So all these black girls got you beat in looks. So the comment that you made was very unnecessary and very false because Diera don't got no nappy ass hair. Diera got inches for days. Okay. And even when her hair is not silk pressed, I've seen it with it just being wild and it's not like what she's describing. So she was, she's an ignorant ass female. And I don't care how many times she apologizes for her comments. That was in her soul. That was in her heart. She really felt like that. She really felt like she had some type of privilege because she's mixed. That's exactly what she felt. And that's what she expressed. And Chris is next to her looking like her, looking at her like, I'm a black man with, with sisters with quote unquote nappy hair who's dark skin because Mercedes and Nettie, they dark skin. So you're offending his sisters. You know what I'm saying? She's just a bird. Like she's a retarded ass little girl, like nappy headed black girls. It's always the nappy headed black girls that what? What's wrong with being nappy headed? What's wrong with being natural? What's wrong with that? I didn't do nothing to know. It seemed like always ugly people bully me. And, and now we're ugly. Always ugly people, uh, nappy headed. You ugly. You ugly. You funny looking. Clarence said you not sweet heat. Okay. Like I said, I can go down a list of girls on YouTube that looks way better than her. Girls on YouTube that's dark skin. Like I said, Diera, Neek, um, Sierra from Sierra and Jordan, Ari, um, a lot of brown skin girls got this girl beat and she thinks that because just because you're mixed does not make you look better. She looks really funny looking. She looks like an ups. Her head is shaped like an upside down light bulb. Like it's skinny at the top and these fat ass cheeks and this pickle nose. And it's like, how could you ever call anybody ugly when when you, have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Girl, the only reason why the only thing that saves you is your skin tone because people are still colorist and people are still color struck in the world. But if you was a brown skinned girl with your looks, you would not even you wouldn't even be on nobody's radar. It's just that we live in a very colorism, color struck, 
messed up world that gives people like her privilege. Well, not really anymore because melanin is running, but we still have people that give people like her privilege because she's mixed. That's the only thing. Biracial, that's the only thing. But when you look at her features, when you look at how she looks, her face, that it ain't it. That ain't it. Just because you mixed don't mean you cute. Point blank, period. It don't that that's not it. She's not it. Which is why Chris said he wasn't attracted to her because she's nasty and she don't look right. And Clarence said she wasn't sweet heat. So, I mean, ugly, ugly wear. Like, come on now. Diera's dark skin and she got you beat. You could never mess with Diera. Not Diera Taylor. They don't call her Big Didi for no reason. Okay? <laughs> okay? Just real ignorant. I'm sorry. So such things ugly people? Well, it don't have nothing to do with, look, y'all, before y'all start going in, it don't have nothing to do with color, but them are always the people that bully me. It was always some little black little girl. This is a beautiful, natural black woman. She don't even have like weave and all of that stuff that celebrities do. Like she basically has her hair in a top knot bun with her natural hair. Like if you see her coming out like this performance on Black Girls Rock, she got she's performing her song Shea Butter Baby. And all black girls know, all natural girls know, us little nappy headed girls know what Shea Butter does for our hair. So, you know, it's like, the fact that she was speaking, like Queen was talking about girls with black, you know, nappy headed black girls that are ugly. The fact that she was saying that and her hair was a mess and she forgot that she was black, like she must have forgot that her, her mom is black. And it's like, just because you're mixed, it doesn't mean anything. Like I said, mixed don't mean cute because you you don't you don't cut it. And then her hair in the video looks nappy, looks like. A, a mixed girl's hair like she looks like she's half black half arabian her hair is all wild and it's like she's sitting there talking about black girls and she disassociated herself with black girls because she said it's always the nappy headed black girls that used to um you know talk about me so she basically didn't even recognize herself as a black girl she disassociated herself with black girls she put herself in another category because she's she put us to the side like we're nappy headed and ugly. It's always like nappy headed black girls that would come for me. And it's like, well, what are you? Aren't you black as well? Aren't you biracial? Don't you have half of you, which is black? She completely like disassociated herself from our culture and basically made herself like something like she made herself like alone and she made herself privileged and she made herself in a different category. Like, no, I'm not black. I'm mixed. Like, you know, that kind of attitude, like I'm mixed. So these little black girls, you know, I'm mixed. I have good hair and I'm, I'm light, I'm light skin. And these little black girls, you know, they're jealous of me. Like, that's how she was really thinking. Like for real, for real. Like, like this is the, the this is how girls like her think girls like her, you know, who grew up thinking that mixed is privilege. Um, that's how they think. And she completely disassociated herself from black girls. Like I said, when she made that comment, cause you're black too, but yet you're coming for black girls, but you're black as well. Your mom is black. Your sister black, your daddy black. I'm not, not the dad, your brother black. Like it's just ignorance. You know what I'm saying? So this Ari Lennox, you know, song, it doesn't make sense to me because this girl is natural and she's singing a song literally called Shea Butter Baby. And I don't get why she's on a song with Queen Aisha because Queen Aisha don't like us. Okay. So I don't understand it, but hey, to each its own. So here are what the fans are saying. The fans are saying, Ari, she says she don't like nappy headed dark skins. Pen one fan directly under Lennox's tweet. Another user wrote, Ari Lennox has a song with Queen Nyjah. Now, who does that make sense to? It don't make sense, especially because this girl is natural. It don't. Ari says she don't like, Ari, she says she don't like nappy headed dark skins. Ha! They said, not Ari forcing me to listen to Queen Nyjah. For real, I'm not listening to that song. Just cause, just because she's on there, I'm not listening to that song, period. Huh? Girl, no, I love myself. I love my bronze skin, okay? I am a beautiful caramel skin girl, and I have nappy hair, and my hair is, and, and my hair is, is, 
It's a four C and I'm proud of it. And and nobody with a funny looking face can tell me that, oh, I'm ugly or nappy headed because I'm not biracial or mixed. You feel me? Like, no, no. It don't matter how much makeup you wear. It doesn't matter how, how much weave you put in your head. You still don't beat these black girls in the community in looks at all. Okay? Because Ari's sitting next to you and she got you beat. Period. Okay? So that's that. Are we going to hold tweets and fit videos against someone who probably changed? Old. Oh, she's a grown ass woman and still stands on her color of sentiments. That old old tweets thing only works when the person said dumb shit ages ago, not two to three years. Oops. Yeah, they're not having it. I don't blame them because if I heard some, if I mean, especially the type of girl Ari looked like. You know what I'm saying? She's like repping for the natural girls and she got like, you know, she's a pretty little dark skin girl um, with beautiful brown skin. And, you know, you next to this, this, you know, colorist that pretty much said on her out of her own mouth that we're ugly and nappy headed and black. I mean, I don't understand it. It don't make sense. And like the person said, not already, not already trying to make me listen to Queen Nyjah. <laughs> Hell nah. Like, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. So you guys, comment down below and tell me what you think. These are some of the comments. The one that took me out was when they said, not Ari forcing me to listen to Queen Nyjah, period. Like, what? What type of collaboration is that? Ari was better off going to collaborate with Janelle Monae. Um, damn, go to Cardi B. Cardi B has no problem with the black community because she's married to a black man and she has never said anything ignorant about the black community from not not from what I know. I mean, you could have went to Cardi B and did a record with her. You know what I'm saying? And she's Latina, but she's not ignorant. You know what I'm saying? I never heard of Cardi saying anything stupid like that. You feel me? With a whole black baby and a mixed a mixed child. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would she say that when she has a whole black husband and a mixed child? Like, you know what I mean? So y'all comment down below and tell me what y'all think about this. I'm not going to listen to the song because Queen is on it. But um, I see I basically was getting hit up with this about the situation. And I'm like, OK, let me look into it. And all I see is this pretty, this beautiful brown chocolate girl next to this, next to this colorist. And I'm like, what? What? What the hell? Like, this don't make no sense. She don't like you, girl. You, She probably didn't see the video. That's all. She probably didn't see the video. She probably didn't see the video because Summer Walker saw the video and shut Queen down. But Ari probably didn't see the video. I'm going to just leave it at that. Maybe she didn't see the video. Maybe afterwards, she'll be like, damn, I made a video with a colorist. But like... You know, for now, she probably didn't see the video. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to just give her the benefit of the doubt. Okay. So y'all comment down below and tell me what y'all think.